Hi everybody, name's Matt, Social Media Manager here at Volusion and welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays where we give you two minutes of e-commerce advice to bolster your online success. Now last week we gave you five things that you need to do before switching over to Facebook's new timeline format for your business page and we got a lot of good response and questions about it so we want to give you five more critical elements to think about with Facebook timeline. Now first, whenever you're in your preview period, you'll want to do some housekeeping. And by this I mean you'll want to go back in time and see what's showing up on your timeline. So let's say you offered a product in 2007 and it had a picture of it, you don't sell it anymore, might want to take it off. Now along the same lines, you'll also want to add in some milestones. So for example, let's say you launched your website in 2006. Why not post a picture of your very first web design? Great way to tell the story through the history of your brand. Now too, whenever you're designing the all-important cover photo for your new timeline, you'll want to make sure that you're not selling or spamming in that photo. So Facebook strictly says that you are not allowed to list your URL, you're not allowed to ask people to like your page, and things of that sort. So again, use that real estate for branding only. Thirdly, explore the pinning feature on new Facebook timeline. What this means is essentially that if you have a post, you can keep it at the top of your feed for a period of seven days. This is great for sales, specials, coupons, sweepstakes, things of that sort. So make sure you're utilizing that. Now along the same lines, you can also star posts, but you need to do this strategically. Now when you star a post, essentially instead of having half the timeline, you're moving it across the entire width. This is a great thing to do for images or things that you're trying to sell with, so check that out too. Now five, you want to make sure that with all the tips we've given you, that you're focusing on storytelling above all else. The entire point of timeline is to tell the story of your brand. So stop spamming, stop soliciting, and make sure that you're engaging and enriching the lives of your customers, and timeline will be a breeze for you, no problem at all. If you have any questions about this timeline or anything else related to e-commerce, we're always happy to help. From me to you, happy selling.